the clear case is one of Rhino Shield's newest cases. Is it any good? Well, one of the notes that we had written down about this product was, I just hate it. For the rest of this video, we'll talk about the design of the new case, the functionality of your iPhone in the case. We'll drop it a few times and then give you the context of why Val hates this case. The Rhino Shield clear case is, well, a clear case. If we were to compare it to another case that we've reviewed, it feels closest to the Apple clear case, which isn't a bad thing because for the version they released for the iPhone 13, it isn't terrible as the bottom hasn't cracked yet. But like the Apple clear case, the finish on the case is incredibly slick. You're gonna drop your iPhone way more in this case. Fingerprinting on this case is also gonna be evident on the clear case, though Rhino Shield has added an oleophobic coating to it, which does help. The slickness of this case also means the case will slide around easily on the back and front. One of the things that bothers us about clear cases is the sticky patches between the clear case and the iPhone. These patches look wet, but Rhino Shield somehow figured a way to stop that from happening. One of the best things with Rhino Shield cases are the buttons. They're the OGs of floating customizable buttons. The best part of floating buttons is that you get to feel your buttons as Apple intended when you press them. With the clear case, Rhino Shield added the ability to swap out the protective ring on the bumper, which allows you to subtly customize the look of your iPhone. Coupled with the removable buttons, your iPhone can look quite unique. You can take it one step further by adding a customized photo to the back of this case. When it comes to custom photo cases, my biggest gripe is the quality of the case. Most of the time, it's not great, so you end up with a personalized case that might not protect your iPhone. You don't have that issue with the Rhino Shield clear case. There are a multitude of different designs that you can go with, and the craziest thing about the print quality, it offers better scratch protection than most screen protectors, so you don't really have to worry about the print coming off. When it comes to functionality, we had no issues accessing the buttons because of the floating buttons. The edges of the case aren't tapered, so you will be able to feel them while you gesture through your iPhone. This case isn't MagSafe friendly, which is a big downside for us, given how much we love MagSafe here at Mobile Reviews 8. One of the reasons we've been able to stomach the newer Apple Clear case is the MagSafe feature, as we can add a pop grip to our case so that's just not as slick. As a side note, the prints on the back of the case do add a bit of texture that does help with handling. One of the newer accessories that Rhino Shield has added with the Clear case is a lanyard set. This accessory clips through the bottom of the speaker cutouts and can be removed fairly easily. Now, we're not big fans of lanyards, but we did give this accessory the good old mobile reviews a try and again here's what Val said about the lanyard <laughs> verbatim I just hate it I'll let her elaborate on her thoughts towards the end of the video for me the lanyard just feels a bit long though I did find it easier keeping my iPhone on me at all times when I was out and about it's still weird slinging your iPhone across your shoulders or just wearing it on you it's something I'm just really not into when it comes to protection Rhino she claims this clear case exceeds military standards they don't really say what standards so I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna be a six foot drop now Rhino shield is a materials company first. They've been using this material called shock spread in all their products and they're different because their products don't layer their cases like Caseify and Mouse do, but they're almost as tough if not just as tough. The clear material will show wear and tear easier than other products well, when you drop it, but that's to be expected. As a side note, the clear case scratches around four on the most scale, so any sort of sidewalk drop is going to leave a mark. Now I've been dropping my iPhones and Rhino Shield cases for years, but will this new clear case protect the iPhone from a six foot drop? I think easily. So six feet Pretty simple, pretty sure it's gonna be fine. The corner drops, I'm completely confident that this product will protect the iPhone. It might get a little scuffed up, but, so there's chip corner here, chip corner here, existing corners. This one was from this morning by dropping it accidentally. If I do a face first drop from a minor height, The uh, oh, wow. the iPhone actually dam got damaged on that one. There's a scuff there. So from face first drops, this is not a great case, which is pretty disappointing given how tough all of Rhino Shield's products were uh, previously. So after all that, why does one of us hate this product? Okay. You read it wrong, I think. I didn't say I hated the case. I said I hated the strap. The case is actually really cool. Like I like that you can customize it, you can change the buttons, it feels great. If you don't have a print on the back, it is super slippery, which I don't really like. But the strap, like, I don't even know. I would never use that. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's so long and so awkward it and like so long and, awkward. and the thing is the part that really makes me hate it is that if it was something you could put on and take off quickly cool but if i'm lying in bed and the strap is like in my face that's not fun and like even at my desk i have it just like 
hanging around, which I don't like. I'm not a big fan of the case. It's just way too slick and I'm usually very careful with my devices, but it's just like the screen protector's taken a beating and I usually can keep a screen protector on my phone without cracking for months on end. And it's a bunch of cracks on this one already because of it, so. If you do like the prints, I will say that the prints are pretty spectacular. They offer a lot of good custom prints, probably one of the best companies in terms of getting a custom printed iPhone case. So if that is of interest to you, I think we do have a link for them. It'll be in the description section below. So get that through, get, so get your cases through those links. First time watching one of our videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe, questions, comments, leave them down there. What else can they do, Val? You can support us through Patreon. You can like, comment, and share this video. I don't know what else. I think that's it. Thanks for watching.